Hey everyone, my name is Wayne and you're watching Fix-A-Day. So I have another short video for you where I'm diagnosing a glow plug issue on this machine and fixing it and showing you how I did it. So let's get to it. Alright, so here's the symptoms of this. <clears throat> when you go to turn the key on, you see the glow plug light never even illuminates. Or sometimes it does, but for the wrong duration. So the very first thing you should do uh, if you're having glow plug issues is check your fuses because they are fed from 120 amp fuse in that fuse box right there. So for checking the fuses it's very simple. This cover just comes right off. You do have to be kind of careful though because it's plastic and there's a there's a tight weather seal on it but it just pulls straight off. There's one there's two retainers on each side. All right, so now that you have that cover off, go ahead and turn the key on because the key switch feeds power to all these fuses. And then you can use a simple test light or multimeter, whichever you have. This one on the end is a spare, so it's not going to have power. But just go through here, check all of them, make sure they're good on both sides. I think the glow plug is on the second from last. This might be an auxiliary, but I think this is the glow plug relay or fuse, but that shouldn't matter. As long as they're all good. So the first step here is there's a few screws around this steel casing that holds this bezel on. Loosen those or remove those and then you can lift this top cover off and all you really need to do is just pivot it out of the way. But be careful though because the tabs that hold this on are pretty fragile. You see your ignition switch here this is the glow plug timer module, and this is the glow plug relay. So go ahead and remove the timer module, or unbolt it at least. It's just got one 10 millimeter bolt right here. There is a switched power on this timer module, along with a temperature sensor and a relay control that we need to test. So we need to get to the back of this module. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this module upside down so that I can get to the pins right here and that way we can back probe them and check for powers and grounds. Okay so following along with the um, tracing back my powers the ground for the glow plug relay is this center terminal opposite of the clip. So what I did was is I used a power probe and I grounded this terminal and then you should hear the glow plug relay energize. And then at that point I checked at the glow plugs and I had power at the glow plugs. So that full circuit was good. So that tells me that power is going through the glow plug relay to activate it, but this module is not grounding the circuit. Now we are sure that it's in this module, but there's a power and a ground to check and a thermo sensor. So we'll do that next. So this top right terminal, assuming the clip is on the top of the connector, when you turn the key on, you should get battery voltage, which I do. And the next step is checking the ground. This bottom right terminal is the ground. And I checked this using a test light. This bolt here on the ignition switch is a power source. So you can put your test light here for power and then check here for ground. And you can see there we have ground. Next step is to ensure that the uh, thermo sensor is working properly. So we're set our, own, our meter to ohms. I don't know what the spec is on the sensor, but as long as you have a reading somewhere around 2,000 to 4,000 ohms, you'll be somewhere in the ballpark to where this module should work. This green wire right here on the bottom left is that, is that sensor. So I'm on a 20,000 scale and you can see we have 3.56 so that's 3,560 ohms so it is receiving a, a signal to this module. So with all these considered this should be working, it should be activating the glow plugs. There's another wire for the indicator light but that, that's not a concern. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swap this timer module out and we'll recheck see if glow plugs work. Here is the part number for the timer module. It's that number right there. I'll also link this down in the description. 
it was about twelve dollars all right so the new timer module is in you can see it right here now when we turn the key you can see the glow plug indicator is working now and I verified power at the glow plugs we have battery voltage right, so that's our that's our first fix now this is still having trouble starting so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the glow plugs and check those and check their resistance values so I found that two of them were completely bad one of them had an open circuit and the other one had 2200 ohms of resistance so they're supposed to be about 1.8 and at, with those readings they're never gonna work so I'm gonna go ahead and swap the glow plugs out and we'll go from there all right so to get this air cleaner loose I've got two 13 millimeter headed bolts on the front and two 12 millimeter nuts on the back they are on the exhaust manifold those just need to be loosened they don't have to be completely removed now that those are loose also need to take the intake hose loose all right and now we have access to number three glow plug now we can go ahead and remove the bus bars it's a eight millimeter nut on each of the glow plugs now we can go ahead and remove the bus bars and the wire all right now i'm going to get compressed air and blow out these cavities that way nothing falls into the combustion chamber all right so now i'm going to go ahead and recheck the glow plugs um, I'm planning to replace them all anyways, but I am just curious to see which ones are actually bad. So my meter's not the best, but that's a, that's a 2. So the first one is 2.0. Second one, I have no reading. And the third one, I have no reading. Alright, so the first one was 2.1. And on the 2000 scale, you can see 2. Second one is 700 ohms. Third one, I still have no reading. So that's a big explanation for the hard starting that I was having. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start removing them now. These are 12 millimeters. Uh-oh. Okay, so here's a closer look at this glow plug. Um, As so you can see number three here, just like number two, broken off. All right, so you see number one here, it's in significantly better condition. Um, this one looks normal, but it is getting replaced anyways, given the condition of the other three. Um, it's not worth the risk, so. And the replacement glow plugs for this, the originals, I think these are originals since they still have the factory paint on them, but they are NGK Y720Us, um, and the catalog number for it is a 5392. So you can get these at any local parts store. The new glow plugs, they come with new nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed. The torque spec for these is 11 to 14 foot-pounds or 132 to 168 inch-pounds. Now we can put the bus bars back on.
There's no torque spec for these nuts, but being that they're so small, you can just snug them up and it should be fine. Remember on the first one, don't forget your wire. All right, now we put the air cleaner back on and dry it out. All right, the intake hose is back on, so let's go ahead and give it a try. started that good. Ever. I think I can call that good. I forgot to tell you the temperature right now, it's about 43 degrees outside. And uh, this thing would definitely not have started without glow plugs, no matter how long you cranked on it. But I think that's a good fix for this video. Uh, if you found it helpful, like the video. Uh, if you wanna see more fixes like this, subscribe. And uh, see you in the next one.